prediction for the week of September 21st through the 27th. I'm going to be pulling three um, tarot cards here. And then one spirit animal oracle card. To see what energy and what animal comes through to help you with through your week. See what lessons it can teach you or assist you with. Give you some type of information. Okay, let's cut these cards and all right, they're ready to go. Let's shuffle these up real quick here. These are your animal spirit cards. See what your cards are. Got the High Priestess. The Devil. And the Knight of Cups. Right? And your animal is the Whale Spirit. All right? out of the way here. Okay, so let's begin here. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, Virgo. Uh, your first card for the first part of the week is the High Priestess. The High Priestess here. Um, she's bringing forward and letting you know that um, That the higher power is with you this week to use to use your intuition on uh, use your intuition this week and trust in it trust in your intuition. Okay, so, um, you know, she's sitting in between two pillars here. You know she's well grounded and and wants you to use your intuition. Believe you're in your instincts this week. This is a very high powerful uh, message here for the beginning of the week. We do have a full moon coming in on the 20th and um, as you see there's a a new moon down here, a crescent moon here and then on her crown there's a moon, a full moon up here so and the cross here on her heart. Um, it's a lot of, you're going to be getting a lot of uh, energy a lot of spiritual energy. You may be having some dreams um, coming forward, coming to you, giving you messages um, this week as well. So just believe and trust in your higher self and, and your intuition. If something doesn't feel right or something does feel right, follow that. Follow that this week. This is what the card is representing. And then you have the devil here towards the middle of the week. Now, um, I think the devil, he's, he's coming into... Um, He's coming in to um, to try to someone is coming towards you to try to stop you from uh, from your dreams this week. But um, as you can tell now, the woman and the man here they are chained together, but the chain is real loose around their necks here. They can leave if they want. If they want to, they don't. They're not. They don't need to stick around and listen to all this manipula manipulation that that's coming forward. Um, remember, the high priestess is powerful. She is here to tell you to trust in your own self, into your intuition. Um, don't fall into a don't fall into a trap of being manipulated this week. And then you have the Knight of Cups here. He comes charging in on his horse. The knights are all represent. They all represent love, but in different ways. And since he is the knight, the knight of cups, he is more uh, loving than all the other knights. The shining armor, because the cups all represent um, all represent love, and relationships. Um, so the knight is here to remind you again. It's very powerful, like this high priestess here. 
um, you know, trust. Just uh, trust in your intuition. Um, you have full powers from the moon this this week here, and um, the horse, the knight, and the horse are 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 standing proud and tall. He's very proud. He sits stand, sitting straight up on this horse with his arm outreach holding that cup. You know, like, yeah. The horse is uh, getting ready to to walk. He's kind of real proud prancing here. Real proud prancing. and Very, very um, strong horse. Um, horses have a lot of feminine energy in them and mystics, mystic mystical auras around horses as well, which is, goes right along with this high priestess. So, you know, there's a lot of trust and love. Trust and love in your intuition this week. And don't fall into the manipulation that someone may be bringing towards you this week. You break free from that. Cut those chains. Cut those ties. You know, toxic, toxic. Cut those toxic, toxic ties and, and keep going. Go and ride that beautiful, strong horse, and you just go. All right. And again, all right. Here, you know, now the whale here as well it says right here. Trust the great mystery. You know, whales are very beautiful, uh, beautiful animals. You know, they they use their sonar and they call and they sing in the ocean. Um, and that's this whale is coming forward to tell you exactly that to be like the whale, be like the whale. Trust in the mystery of the great sea, you know, and listen and sing your song and, you know, sing your song. Use your intuition. Use your intuition. Be like the whale this week. And just trust, trust in the great mystery of, of the waters. You know, the moon, you know, we're all, you know, we're, Mostly our bodies are mostly all water, and the full moon is coming in. The tides are going to raise and, you know, it's going to mess with the tides. It's going to mess with everybody this week. Y'all, we all get certain ways um, the moon affects us. So, um, as you can tell, there's a lot of moonlight coming down, shining on this whale here. So you just trust the great mystery. Trust in your... Trust in your intuition. That might be a mystery to you. You might be thinking, wow, why did I think of that? What's going on? Trust in it. In your knight in shining armor. Um, the knight in shining armor is always coming, also coming forward to you and telling you that as well. So in the cup here is full. Love, be in love. Love yourself. Love yourself and don't be manipulated. All right, and that's your reading for this week of September. You have a wonderful day, and we'll see you again. Bye now.